Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's 8 in the morning. Closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! SpongeBob! Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens.
Black Belt, here I come! One tablet soul at a time. We're men. Okay, Patrick, since you've brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the Cartwheel Moon. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do.
There you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh. Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the Paddywagon. <laughs> 